Welcome to Quantifying Antiquity, where we delve deep into our past, using the tools and insights of modern engineering and technology. Today, we're tackling a crucial argument, that our understanding of history is far from fixed and is constantly evolving. With groundbreaking discoveries and developments all made in recent times since 2000, we're reshaping our perception of ancient history and engineering. Let's dive into these remarkable findings and explore how they challenge and expand what we thought we knew about our ancient ancestors, highlighting the need to keep questioning and challenging the norm or status quo. Mainstream academic circles can sometimes be slow to accept new theories or evidence that contradict long-held beliefs. This inertia can stem from academic conservatism, the vested interests of established scholars, and the limitations of existing methodologies. The interpretation of archaeological evidence is often influenced by contemporary knowledge and biases. For instance, the assumption that ancient civilizations had to rely on primitive tools may stem from an underestimation of their ingenuity and knowledge. Encouraging a more open-minded and interdisciplinary approach can foster breakthroughs and a more accurate understanding of our past. First, let's talk about the ancient footprints found in and around White Sands National Park in New Mexico. Discovered at various times, one of the most notable finds was in 2020. These footprints have pushed back the timeline for human presence in North America. The footprints were dated using radiocarbon dating of seeds embedded in the sediment layers above and below the footprint layers. The results indicated that these footprints are between 21,000 and 23,000 years old. This is significant because it challenges the previously held belief that humans arrived in the Americas no earlier than 15,000 years ago. This finding suggests that human presence in North America predates the last glacial maximum, leading to profound implications for our understanding of early human migration patterns. Another notable discovery that challenged previously held beliefs about humankind is the Denisovan hominin. Denisovans are an extinct species or subspecies of archaic humans, first identified in 2010 based on DNA analysis from a finger bone fragment found in the Denisova cave in Siberia. Genetic analysis revealed a distinct lineage that diverged from the common ancestor of Neanderthals and modern humans approximately 400,000 to 500,000 years ago. This was groundbreaking because it introduced a third lineage of archaic humans living alongside Neanderthals and modern humans. Genetic studies have shown that Denisovans interbred with modern humans. As a result, some populations, particularly in East Asia, Oceania, and Native Americans, carry Denisovan DNA. This interbreeding has contributed to various genetic traits in contemporary human populations, influencing aspects of immune response and adaptation to high-altitude environments. The discovery of Denisovans has complicated the narrative of human evolution, indicating that interactions between different hominin groups were more complex than previously understood. It underscores the dynamic and multifaceted nature of human history, challenging the simplistic view of a linear progression from archaic humans to modern Homo sapiens. Let's dive deeper into how our understanding of ancient history, especially in the context of engineering and construction, is continually evolving and why critical thinking and further research are essential. The discoveries at White Sands and the Denisovan Cave exemplify how new evidence can drastically change our understanding of history. But what about ancient engineering marvels? The Great Pyramid of Giza is a prime example. Traditional explanations often cite rudimentary tools and vast labor forces for its construction. However, the precision and scale of the construction suggest the possibility of advanced engineering knowledge and techniques that we may not fully understand. Modern engineering perspectives propose alternative theories, such as the use of advanced surveying methods, sophisticated knowledge of material properties, 
and possibly even machinery that has not been preserved or discovered. Similarly, the transportation and erection of the massive stones at Stonehenge, some from quarries hundreds of miles away, remain partially explained by conventional theories involving wooden sleds and human labor. Yet, experimental archaeology and engineering studies suggest the possible use of advanced knowledge in physics and engineering principles. Integrating modern engineering, physics, and even computer modeling into the study of ancient structures can yield new hypotheses about how these feats were accomplished. This interdisciplinary approach can challenge conventional narratives and inspire innovative research. Fostering a culture of critical thinking and open-mindedness in both academic and public spheres is crucial. By questioning established narratives and remaining receptive to new evidence, we can continually refine our understanding of history. Now let's explore Gobekli Tepe, an archaeological site in southeastern Turkey. Although initially discovered in the 1960s, it wasn't until the mid-1990s that its significance became evident, largely due to the work of German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt. Gobekli Tepe consists of massive stone pillars arranged in circles and is considered one of the world's oldest known temples, dating back to around 9,600 BCE. This predates the advent of agriculture by several thousand years, suggesting that the urge to build monumental structures may have spurred the development of farming. The sheer scale and complexity of the stone pillars, some weighing up to 20 tons and standing six meters tall, indicate a highly organized society capable of mobilizing a large workforce. This challenges the notion that complex social structures only emerged after agricultural societies formed. The elaborate carvings and the apparent ritualistic purpose of Gobekli Tepe suggest that religious or ceremonial motivations were significant driving forces in early human societies. This shifts the narrative from economic and survival needs being the primary motivators to more complex social and spiritual factors. Another fascinating discovery is Homo nalidi, an extinct species of hominin discovered in 2013 in the Rising Star cave system in South Africa. The discovery was announced in 2015 by a team led by paleoanthropologist Lee Berger. Homo nalidi exhibited a unique mix of primitive and modern traits. While its skull and brain size were similar to early hominins, its hands, wrists, and feet were more akin to modern humans. This blend of characteristics suggested a complex mosaic of evolution. One of the most striking aspects of the discovery was the evidence suggesting that Homo naledi might have engaged in deliberate disposal of their dead. The remains were found in a remote part of the cave, indicating that these hominins might have placed the bodies there intentionally, suggesting a level of cognitive complexity. Initial dating estimates placed Homo naledi at around 2 million years old, but further analysis refined the age to between 236,000 and 335,000 years ago. This means Homo naledi coexisted with early modern humans and other hominin species, indicating a more intricate web of interactions and evolutionary processes than previously understood. While many elongated skulls are attributed to deliberate cranial deformation, some skulls, particularly from the Paracas culture in Peru, exhibit elongation that some researchers argue cannot be explained by known deformation techniques alone. These skulls often have distinctive features, including larger cranial volumes and different suture patterns. Genetic testing has revealed unusual mitochondrial DNA, sparking debates about their origins. If some of these skulls are indeed natural, it would suggest the presence of a previously unknown or poorly understood human population with unique physiological traits. Next, let's talk about Roman concrete. Recent studies have shown that the materials and techniques used by the Romans were far more advanced than previously understood. Research by geologist Marie Jackson has focused on the microstructural analysis of Roman marine concrete, 
revealing unique properties that contribute to its durability. The interaction between volcanic ash and lime created durable minerals like aluminous tobermorite and philipsite, which help prevent cracking. The insights gained from this research are influencing contemporary construction practices, demonstrating the enduring relevance and innovation of ancient engineering. The Antikythera mechanism, discovered in 1901 among the wreckage of a Greek ship, is an extraordinarily sophisticated ancient analog computer dating back to around 100 BCE. The mechanism consists of a complex system of bronze gears, dials, and pointers that could predict astronomical positions and eclipses. Its complexity is comparable to that of 18th century clocks. Advances in imaging technology, such as CT scanning, have allowed researchers to look inside the corroded remains without damaging it. These scans have revealed intricate details of the gears and inscriptions, leading to digital reconstructions that simulate its functions. The study of the Antikythera mechanism has inspired modern engineers and scientists, providing insights into ancient manufacturing techniques and illustrating how historical artifacts can influence contemporary innovation. The examples of the White Sands footprints, Denisovan hominins, Gobekli Tepe, Homo naledi, naturally elongated skulls, Roman concrete, and the Antikythera mechanism all illustrate how new discoveries can upend previously accepted timelines and narratives. By maintaining a critical perspective and fostering an open-minded approach to research, we can continue to uncover the true complexities of our past. Encouraging interdisciplinary studies and challenging academic rigidity will allow us to develop a more accurate and enriched understanding of human history, emphasizing that it is far more intricate and dynamic than conventional history books often portray. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Quantifying Antiquity for more explorations into our fascinating past. Until next time, keep questioning and keep discovering.